I believe this is my third reporting of the rice diet, which is kind of not even the rice diet anymore. I'll explain in a couple of minutes. Uh, did I lose double digit weight? I'm gonna talk about that. I also have had some stuff happen this month that didn't happen prior to months that kind of affected uh, my results. So to get started, did I lose double digit weight in the, the third month? I did not. Um, there might be a couple reasons for that. It might just have slowed down. I have no idea. I did add some things to the diet. I haven't had hardly any rice at all. So yes. So um, at the beginning of this month, I was having a lot of issues with my foot so much so that I actually went to my foot doctor to have him x-ray it to see if anything was wrong. Because since I've had the uh, fake ankle put in, I actually have had my bone, uh, two, two different bones in my foot break just by walking. And so, because it's a fixed ankle now, so it doesn't have as much play as it used to. And it was hypermobile prior to the surgery, so everything kind of got used to being hypermobile. That being said, that kind of has affected my ability to do the cellar sizer for 30 minutes, which I was doing, to my remembrance, like 25 to 30 minutes every day uh, in the first two months of this. I have not had the opportunity to do that since this has happened with my ankle. It has been more of a 10 to 15 minute range in that, um, in that realm. Now, I, before I keep going, I did lose weight, so I'm not gonna say that I didn't lose weight. It has not been as fruitful though as the other months and I think my diet was a lot simpler. I kind of got tired of that simple life and some of the uh, different dinners that I've been making have been a little bit more extravagant but actually no fat whatsoever, no added fat whatsoever. So I have kept that, uh, I have maintained that. And I, I really have to say that I do like the no fat thing. Now I do still to this day miss having fat in my meals but it's not something that is like ruining my life or anything like that. And as you get into this and keep going uh, forward with it, you kind of just don't really notice it anymore. Now it is kind of a pain, like if you go to somebody else's house, I'm to the point now where if I go to like my parents' house or somebody else's house, I literally have to bring my own stuff. Luckily, most people I know live somewhat close to like a Trader Joe's or something like that. So I can just stop and get what I need for that, whatever I'm gonna do when I get there. I make it and life happens. You know, it's just, it's not a big deal. The only thing is it's a little awkward kick, uh, cooking in somebody else's kitchen or, you know, whatever, but most people are pretty accommodating in that arena. So that is what I've been doing with that. What have I been eating? A lot of people have been asking me that. I've been trying to post more on Instagram. I am I have made a couple what I eat in a day videos on this channel. I don't know, maybe I'll make one in the future. I don't really have any real plans to do it. A, it's a pain in the ass, and B, it's a pain in the ass, so I don't know. But if you wanna check that out, I do have my Instagram link down in the comments or in the description se section. Go check it out. Um, that's where I kind of put things. So what I've been eating lately is potatoes and I did add uh, flour slash wheat back in. I added the, I'm gonna have to bring them over here. Those gummies that I have from Trader Joe's back in. Starting to wonder if those two are affecting my digestion in any way. It's not like I'm having a hard time going. It's just, I don't know. It. I feel like the weight loss shouldn't have slowed as much as it did. But again, you know, this is, month number three, maybe it was just going to happen. I mean, you can't consistently lose double digit weight for a huge amount of time, unless you're like I was back in the day when I was weighing over 400 pounds. You can carry that on for a, a long, long time before it really, you know, stops. So that is it. So I've, I've added in uh, the wheat, the candy things, I do have them over there, but I've shown them in the uh, shorts on my uh, Instagram, and I think I showed them on here as well. What else did I add? I added corn back in, I believe. I don't, I don't think I had corn in the other two months. But honestly, I really have not eaten any rice. I'm like kind of replicating the rice diet and not having any rice at all. So I start off the day with watermelon juice, just like in the last video. Then I'll have a watermelon. Then I'll have bananas and whatever fruit is seasonal at the time. Uh, mangoes really haven't been looking good, so I've started uh, adding peaches in. Peaches have been half, half decent so far this year. Not as good so far this year as they were last year. Last year they were insane. Uh, and then it's just whatever dinner I make. And lately, honestly, I've gotten addicted to making uh, fat-free pancakes <laughs> and um, 
potato hash. I don't, I've made it like, I don't know how many days in a row. And I added uh, making uh, like calzones or pizza back in. I might subtract those. I don't, that might be some of the reason. I, I'm not like a calorie warrior here. I, 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 I don't know that I digest wheat as well as I should. And I'm, I'm not a big fan of buying organic wheat, largely because it's like three times the price. So I'm gonna have glyphosates in that. And I was not having glyphosates in anything prior to this. That might have something to do with it. I don't know, because glyphosates can cause leaky gut, but I haven't really had any gut issues. It could literally just be that I can't maintain double digit weight loss for months on end, you know? I know Doug, I think it was Doug Lyle. Is it Doug Lyle or is it, um, the, the, I don't know, this guy, Neil Barnard. I think he says that one and a half to two pounds a week is good. I was close to that, I don't know. So anyway, my diet has largely replaced rice with everything, other, every other starch, other than like quinoa. I'm not, I just, I tried so many times, I don't like quinoa. I've had sweet potatoes a few times, I don't know. I don't know, part of me wants to take out the candies and the wheat again and see how July into August goes and if that's a double digit month. And I, I really maintain, and I, you know, I kind of wish I wouldn't have said some of this stuff in the beginning of this channel, that you don't need um, exercise to lose weight. And I think if you're somebody who has insulin issues at all, that exercise just even if it's just walking you could just go walk for how like 15 20 30 minutes a day or you know whatever I, i'm a huge seller sizer fan uh link down below go check it out it's a rebounder um i really think that needs to be included especially for those who have slow metabolisms don't digest well in and the full gamut maybe leaky gut uh, all that, all that. I, I really think it's needed. Now, I don't think that you need to go walk for like two or three hours. Pritikin used to talk about the idea of getting to 60 minutes a day, and he liked actually 30 minutes in the morning and 30 minutes like either before or after dinner. So try that out. That might work. I kind of am combining Pritikin, Kempner, McDougal, Durian Rider. It's kind of a combination of everything. I have not been adding sugar in. A lot of people ask me about that. There's nothing against sugar. I Ever since I did that pound a day sugar experiment with myself, well, I think that was actually two years, a little over two years ago now at this point, I can't eat sugar without as easily without getting an upset stomach. So I don't have it as much. now. There was like two or three days this month, this in this past four weeks, where I did go for long bike rides out in the country. I, I don't even know if I took video. <laughs> I failed to do that. Um, but um, I did have sugar water with me on those. So it does come in handy. I, you know, I'm, I maintain like if you are an athlete, if you are lifting in, especially if you're lifting in a gym. There was this guy when I when I used to work out. This 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 guy that brought in. A two liter, this guy was so strong, it was ridiculous. And he used to bring in this uh, two liter of Mountain Dew every workout. And he would drink half of it before his workout and then he would sip the other thing. And he swore by this stuff. This dude was so strong, it was ridiculous. I mean, I felt so weak compared to this guy. And, and so I always think of this guy. And actually, if you read some of the old bodybuilding magazines and if you read uh, Mike Menser, he did tell you to have carbohydrates before your workout because you, your body, your muscles are carbo carbohydrate storing me mechanisms, basically. So if you don't have carbohydrates in your system before you go work out, it's not gonna be as good as if you did. And that's why a lot of people if you go work, um, this is purely weight. Actually, I, I don't even think this is because this is applied to bike riding t for me. This is applied to weightlifting for me. When I have eaten for most of my day and then I go exercise, either my lift or my ride is way better than it, when it's fasted, way better. I mean, I have statistics on this. I actually just came across another, I forget where, oh, it was in my gym bag. I just came across like five or six more of my notebooks for my lifting days. And you can tell, like, cause I would put, if I worked out in the AM or the PM, and you can tell my lifts were way better and way easier 
after I had eaten all that. You might think, and they've proven this, you might think that you're super tired. That has no direct cor correlation with how much you can lift or how much you can ride. I don't know why, I don't understand it. I'm not trying to understand it, but they have proven this. And I've proven this myself and when I train, that tiredness does not have any, unless you're like haven't slept in like three or four days, maybe it does. But like, if you're just tired after a day of work, it does not actually have any relevance to how much you can live for that day. So if you're going to go, this is a long tangent for this, but if you're gonna go work out or ride bike or run or whatever, sugar water is definitely a viable option for you. I really wish I would have brought those gummies. I'll, I, I do have a can of it right here. Here's the can of it. Um, if this is Trader Joe's and if you're in America, the most beautiful part about this candy, uh, hopefully you can read that, is it doesn't have any artificial dyes in it, which I, is such a prevalence in our food. I guess I can get to, I didn't mean a huge tangent on the sugar, but I have had a lot of people asking me about it, so I figured I would answer the question in this video. Here we are, I answered the question. What others? Oh, I saw, so, so, I mean, basically, I'm gonna summarize it. So basically, I haven't had really any rice. Uh, I've replaced it with wheat. And potatoes has still been like a king, right? Potatoes have definitely still been the most consumed. And now with farmer's markets, uh, we're starting to see, people are digging up their potatoes from the winter and they're really good. So I've been buying a lot of local potatoes and that, that really is it. So it's basically fruit and potatoes and wheat. And I have had rice a few times, but not many. I'm thinking about adding the rice back in. I have a couple of pizza doughs that I made left and I got some, a little bit of wheat left that I have. And after that, I do think I'm gonna go back to uh, rice because I want to start making onigiri again and I, if I do I will make a video on that whether it's on here or on my Instagram I'll make it on one of those two or maybe both to the weight did I lose weight I did it was like five pounds somewhere in that range I can't remember what I lost last where I ended off last month I think it was like 260.2 or something like that or maybe 262 I'm at 255.6 today. I did take a picture of that. If I can find the picture from the last one, which I should have, it shouldn't be that hard to find, I will post that. It's roughly five pounds, but I do think it should be more than that. Going forward, I might take some of this stuff out once I'm out of it. I tell you what, I don't get addicted to anything other than wheat. Get really addicted to wheat, so. That one's actually gonna be hard to give up. Like, I don't get addicted to potatoes, I don't get addicted to rice. But wheat, I don't know what's in that stuff. Maybe it's, I don't know, maybe they spray something on it. I don't know, yeah. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much what's been going on. I, I'm been upping my exercise a little bit because the foot issue, there was no broken bones, he couldn't find anything. I just have this like weird radiating pain that is making it excruciating sometimes to walk but there's no real reason for it. So uh, I'm just gonna keep pressing on. Uh, the reason I'm leery is because I literally have had two bro bones break just walking before and you can hear it. I remember the first time it happened, I was at this one park and it was so loud that there was people kind of walking behind me and they're like, was that you? And I said, unfortunately, that was one of my bones just breaking. So yeah, um, this is not gonna apply. To, there's literally, when I, I went to my foot doctor end of June, he said that literally less than a thousand people on the planet have had the surgery that I've had. So it is not going to apply to many people, but it does apply. That is where we're at 255.6. Could have been better, could have been worse. At least I lost some weight. Uh, we will see. I don't even know if this has been four weeks since the last one. I just felt like making this video. I haven't looked. It might be, it might not be. So if this is only three weeks since the last time I made that video, then actually that's pretty good. That's it. Anyway, uh, comments, questions down below, like, subscribe. Uh, you know, I, I haven't been getting to as many comments lately as I used to. It's probably just gonna always be that way now. Um, yeah, anyway, um, if you think this video would help somebody, share it. And that's it. Talk to you in the next one. Peace.